If you want to develop complete full stack applications without writing a single line of code, there is an AI code editor that can develop complete full stack applications without requiring to integrate any third party services like Supabase or Neon.tech. So if you have used bold.new or liable.f, you know that you need to integrate Supabase to develop full stack applications. Even to create authentication system and basic database, you still need third party services. So in this video, I'm going to share this tool that solves all of these issues. And now you can build complete full stack applications without using any third party services. The name of this tool is Mocha. You can just access it on getmocha.com or you can just click on the link in description to access this tool. So this is Mocha and this is how it looks like. And you can see some of the projects created using Mocha. I have also just created some of the projects using Mocha. One of those projects is this Netflix style movie browsing website. So this is a fully functional Netflix style website. You can see all of these links are working. Similarly, I just created this e-commerce store as well. And now you can see it's a fully functional e-commerce store. There is this expense tracker app as well that we just created using Mocha. This this app has a fully functional login system so if you just click on this get started with google now you will see this google sign in as well and now you can just like proceed and sign into your app so as i said this app makes everything absolutely simple for you to like develop a complete full stack application that you don't need a third party service to build a database to build backend or even building an authentication system so to show you a demo let's just go ahead and create something using this tool and then let's just see what this tool is actually capable of so before you start please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well all right so just go to get more card com i just click on the link in description and then just log in and once you're logged in this is how you will see this is your dashboard and you will find all of your projects in here and after that simply just click on this create new app and now you can just explain your app or maybe choose from these ideas so let me just click on this which is make a spotify clone so the prompt is make a spotify clone focus on making visuals look like spotify make it as close as you can and try to impress visually so this is just a simple prompt and now what i can do i can simply just click on this enter and now Mocha will start creating code and start developing this app for us. So you can see the overall chat interface is kind of similar to Loveable and Bold.new, but Mocha has some extra options like this data and settings. What are these options about? We're gonna check that later, but for now, let's just wait for it to finish developing this application. And once it is done, then we'll just review that. All right, so within just a few seconds, this is what we have got. And this looks impressive. I mean, at least the interface it looks just mind blowing. I mean, just have a look at this. It has kind of replicated the entire Spotify front end. So yeah, I mean, it looks promising. Now what we can do, we can ask Spotify to create a sign in page and then create an authentication system or simply just log in with Google. So to do that, we can just like again, ask it to. So I'm just giving it this prompt. Please create a login, sign up screen and create auth and backend. So now I can simply just press enter. Now let's just see what Mocha does. Let's just wait for it to create an authentication system and a database. So right now you can see it's already working on it. So let's just wait for it. Okay, so now it has just created this login screen. There was an error and now it is attempting to fix that error, but overall it has just created this login screen. So if I just click on this, continue with Google and now you can see the login with Google is working. So if I just like click on this, so you can see now it is loading it and now my account is logged in so you can see i have logged in with my account so i did not integrate any third party service i did not integrate superbase i did not integrate anything else but mocha created this login system for me now if you just go to this code section and here you can find the complete source code of this project. By the way, you can download the source code as well. So you can just like publish it on GitHub or maybe just use it with Cursor or Windsurf. And then there is this data section in here. So inside data, there is this one table in here that I can find. And here you can see there is this one user only, which is me that I just like logged in it using my this email address. So I've got this user ID here and I have got this last signed in and the last updated ad and the created ad. So this is my user record so whoever will log in on this website i'll get that record in here inside my users table so this shows our backend is working and right now we have only got one table in here but in future if you'll just like add any further features and if you will need any further tables in here so mocha will create those tables as well then there is this settings tab and inside the settings tab you can find the project name description project visibility also, there is this assets tab and inside this assets tab, you can upload your own images and then you can just use those images inside your website. Similarly, there is this publishing tab and here you can add your own custom domains. If you just go to the domain section and here you can maybe like buy a domain or maybe connect your existing domain. There is this secret section here. You can manage all of your API keys and tokens. So let's suppose if you're integrating any third party service, maybe you're integrating an AI model in it, or maybe if you want to use fall.ai or any other third party services, you can add. You you can add your api keys in here 
also for google login you can provide your own google authentication details so you can just like go to google cloud console so this is google cloud console you can just like sign up here for free and then you can just like create your project in here inside google cloud console you can see i have already created several projects in here so you can just like create your own project just give it a name and after that you can just like go to your api and services section and from here you can just like go to your credential section so here inside this credential section you can see there is this authorized redirect uri so here you need to provide that link link that mocha just provided you so this is the link that mocha provided you so you can just like paste that link inside google cloud console and then it will give you that google oauth client id and client secret id so you can just like provide both of those ids paste it in here so this is how you can use your own google oauth client in here because this way by doing this you can show your own apps branding without showing the mocha branding in there so once you have set up everything now you can simply just click on this publish button simply just click on that and now from here you can simply just click on publish app and now you can can make the visibility to maybe private and after that you can just like maybe remove the watermark and now you can simply just click on this publish app and now your app will be published and this is going to be your url so if you have not connected your own domain name so it will give you this subdomain which is dot mocha dot app and this url is public now you can see if i just click on this i can simply just open my app in here you can see this nice looking login page and if i just click on this continue with google I can simply just like log in with my email. So right now you can see I have got this email to log in and here is the Mocha branding and it is showing this Mocha and this Mocha logo. If you will add your own details from Google Cloud, so it will show your product name and your own logo. But for now you can see we did not add those details from Google Cloud Console. So that's why it is showing the Mocha details. And now I can simply just like press on this email and now it will just sign me in and then it will just reload my dashboard so right now you can see it is signing in and now you can see it is logged in which is amazing and now this url is public i can just share it with anyone else and right now you can see this is the domain that it has created this is basically a subdomain but as i told you already you can add your own domain name in here inside the settings so if you just go to this settings section and from here you can just like go to your domain section and then you can just like attach your own domain or you can just like buy a new domain by clicking on this buy domain button and then it will reload you on this ionis page so ionis is a domain name provider so if i just like search for maybe anything so you can see i just looked for this new domain 123.online and this domain is available and now i can simply just click on this add to basket and then i can just like buy this domain so this is how easy and simple now to build complete full stack applications without integrating any third party services so the way this tool is different from bold.new or loveable.dev is this tool develops complete full stack applications without using any third party services so just go ahead and give it a try and let me know in the comment section what you think about mocha i'll see you next video bye bye